Welcome to our Train the Trainer program and congratulations for taking the next step in advancing skills and techniques as a transformational trainer. I'm looking forward to teaching you my proven system for training and coaching athletes, entrepreneurs, executives, and everyday individuals to higher levels of self-awareness and peak performance. This program is an awesome complement to anything you're currently doing and it will give you an incredible ability to change people's lives including your own. This program delivers the core body of my work, focusing on how to teach the success principles in a live, experiential, interactive training. And it includes all of the necessary content, the exercises, the tools, and the techniques that I teach in my live trainings. And the goal here is to give you everything you need to be able to teach a one-hour keynote, a half-day seminar, a full-day workshop, or a multi-day training to help people achieve greater success in their personal and professional lives. This is a self-paced, self-taught program, so you can proceed at your own pace. And this program is based on my book, The Success Principles. So if you haven't read it yet, I want to encourage you to do so. Now, there are really three seminars combined into one in this program. First, you're going to be learning how to speak, teach, train, and coach others. And that's what we call the professional side of the training. Second, you'll be learning how to apply the success principles to your own life. And third, you'll be working on yourself so that you become more centered and more present as you teach and work with others. Now, as a Canfield trainer, who you're being is as important as what you're saying. And for this reason, I highly recommend you first watch the videos from the perspective of being a student. The best trainers that I know are always learning and are committed to working on themselves first. You know, many of my top students have been to my trainings five, six, even seven times, and they still say they learn something new every time they attend. So watch these videos as many times as you need in order to feel comfortable teaching these principles. Now, this entire program is based on what I call the holistic model of growth and development, or what we now call the Canfield Method. In order for this program to be effective in accomplishing real and lasting transformation, we're going to be working with the whole person, the mind, the body, the emotions, the imagination, the intuition, the will, and the function of your awareness or presence in your higher self or the spiritual dimension of you. Now the mental aspect includes focusing our mind on the positive using techniques like affirmations, replacing negative self-talk with positive self-talk, transforming our inner critic into our inner coach, replacing limiting beliefs with empowering beliefs, Replacing victim language, like I can't, or I should, with responsibility language, like I choose not to, I don't want to, or I will. Utilizing inspirational and motivational stories, and by reading uplifting and empowering books, and by using songs with positive and empowering lyrics. Now the imagination is engaged by the use of guided visualization, guided imagery, and meditation exercises. And the emotions are engaged with exercises like heart talks, autobiographical sharing and releasing inner blocks, and by the use of moving stories and videos. And the body is engaged through movement, dance, shoulder massages, hugging, milling exercises where people are walking around interacting with each other, and various energizers and games that are used throughout the training. And the intuition is engaged through meditation and exercises like muscle testing and somatic decision making, which I'll be teaching you. And the will is engaged through activities like exercising our ability to choose, to ask, to reject rejection, to persevere in the face of obstacles and to disidentify with internal and external attachments. And awareness and the spiritual dimension are employed through using meditations, guided visualizations, and heart math exercises such as the quick coherence technique. So you can see this course is very comprehensive and it contains a lot of information. So therefore I suggest that you take your time and approach the material in small pieces so you can absorb the content like the chapters of a book. Now unlike a live training, the good news with this program is you can go back and review specific pieces and refresh your memory anytime. So please take notes as you go along, watch the material over and over, and practice the exercises first with your colleagues, your family, and your friends before you use them in your training room. You'll find as you go along that the material will become second nature to you and eventually you'll find that you've mastered it. Well, next I'd like to cover all the pieces that we're including in the program and how to best use the program. 
So let's start by identifying the various components. First, there's the half-day workshop. And in the live version of this training, I started out by presenting an actual half-day workshop. The reason was to give the students an example of how I put together all of the exercises, the tools, and the techniques that I teach in a half-day workshop. And that usually lasts about three to four hours. I found that most trainers need to be able to deliver a half-day workshop, so this is a model of what I frequently present when I'm hired to conduct a half-day workshop for a corporation or for a general public seminar. So keep in mind, you can or you may need to modify the workshop design based on your specific audience, depending on the size, the length, and the focus of what you're focusing on in that workshop. Now, although this is a really good design, it's just one possible format, so remember that. So if you need to include less content or more content, you will easily be able to determine how to add or delete material. And there are several suggested workshop designs for longer and shorter workshops in your materials. And I want to strongly suggest that you watch the half-day workshop before you begin the rest of the program, because this will give you an idea of what you're working toward with assembling the content in a seamless and productive workshop for your training groups. Starting first with the half-day workshop will allow you to experience the key elements of the Campfield method in an organized fashion. What you're going to see that this model I use includes a meditation, it includes exercises to bond the groups, which creates a safe environment in the room, and then I present a principle and then any research that backs up why the principle is important, and then we'll introduce an interactive group exercise of some kind and then usually share a story that illustrates the principle, which is what I call the glue, which holds it all together and allows people to remember more of what we're teaching, and then possibly adding a bit of humor. And lastly, this whole thing will model how this formula creates a smooth and effective presentation. And you're gonna get a feel for how seamless it all looks, and soon you'll be able to conduct a similar workshop of your own. Now let's talk about the video modules. There are dozens of video modules in this program and they make up the main component of this program. And these videos are from my live Train the Trainer seminar. And you're gonna see the video was shot in three separate week-long trainings over the course of a year. So you're gonna notice that I may look a little different in terms of what I'm wearing. Sometimes I have a tan, sometimes I don't. You're gonna see that the students may look different because they're sitting in different parts of the room. And I promise you the training rooms will also look different because we shot this in three different locations. Now the video modules typically start out with a brief introduction where I tell you what you're about to see and then we cut to the live classroom footage. And throughout the video program, you'll also see me answering students' questions. And I wanna strongly suggest that you pay close attention to these questions and answers since they're likely gonna be the same types of questions that you're gonna have. And I've also included what I call facilitator tips throughout the videos. And these are places where the video may stop or will insert a little cut or some graphic cutouts that will help point out things that you might otherwise not notice. And this is gonna help you become better at facilitating your own trainings. Now the video modules are broken down into the following groups. First, there are the core success principle modules. This includes many of the key success principles from my book. And I've organized these modules in the order that I taught them in the live training. And they're in this particular order because that is the order you need to integrate and implement them into your life. There are literally steps in an ordered system that is designed to produce a consistent result of success and achievement every single time. So let's start with success principle number one. Take 100% responsibility for your life. Success principle two is be clear why you're here, which focuses on life purpose. Success principle 28, clear up your messes and incompletes so you can come present to the new challenges in your life. Success principle 54, keep your agreements because when you don't keep your agreements, things tend to fall apart. Success principle three, which is decide what you want to get clear about your vision and your goals. Success principle seven, unleash the power of goal setting to really get clear about how to set goals that work. Success principle 14, just lean into it, because sometimes we don't know how to start or where to start. We just need to lean into it, and we'll talk about that. Success principle number 10 is release the brakes, which focuses on utilizing the power of affirmations. Success principle 11, see what you want, get what you see, which is all about how to use visualization to turbocharge your goals and your vision. Success principle 46 is mastermind your way to success. Mastermind groups and accountability partners, one of the most powerful tools we use. Success principle 13, which is take action, because without action, nothing happens. 
Success principle 15, which is experience the fear and do it anyway. Because what stops us from taking action is primarily fear. We have to learn how to overcome that. Success principle 17, ask, ask, ask. Asking is one of the most powerful and profound actions that you can take to produce more success in your life. Success principle 19, use feedback to your advantage. All action doesn't work and we need to respond to feedback, solicit feedback, and not be defensive about feedback. And success principle 25, drop out of the end of the awful club, which has to do with surrounding yourself with positive, success-oriented people, getting away from the people that are blaming and complaining and whining and moaning. And then finally, success principle 53, practice uncommon appreciation, because we'll see appreciation is core to all of this work. The second thing we focus on is creating a safe space. One of the things that separates my work from the work of most other trainers, and it's one of the reasons why this work is so successful, is that the first step of any training I do is to create what we call a safe space in the room. A space in which people feel safe enough to open up and be vulnerable enough to tell the truth about their goals, their dreams, their fears, and their limiting beliefs, and to own their core genius and their unique abilities. And in this section, I'm going to introduce you to a few exercises that I use to bond a group and create safety in the room. And these include exercises like the hug process, autobiographical sharing, heart talks, the strength bombardment exercise, and the bragging exercise. You're going to find those are a lot of fun and very uplifting. The third area is what we call classroom logistics. And there's a lot of careful structure that's needed to create a powerful learning environment. And as you'll see when I go over the guidelines with people in the first week, the guidelines are all there to support the deepest and safest possible learning environment. You would only need a few guidelines for a half day or a one day workshop, but for a longer workshop, they're critical. And they also create a context for people to learn about how they deal with the agreements they make in life and the consequences of when they don't, when they don't keep them. So it's really an important part of the program. Now the fourth module is focusing on processing skills. And when you conduct longer and deeper trainings that address people's fears, releasing those blocks and limiting beliefs, people can get stuck or have painful emotions come up. So it's going to be important as a trainer to know how to coach or process people through those fears, through their limiting beliefs, through their blocks, and whatever other emotions might emerge. Now this includes things like the laser coaching process, the five-minute phobia cure, meridian tapping, often known as EFT, emotional freedom technique, how to transform your inner critic into your inner coach, techniques for releasing guilt and resentment, and some other processing skills that you're gonna find very valuable. There's also a module on energizers, and these are high energy, interactive exercises that get people out of their chairs and moving their bodies that wake people up if the energy's dragging. For example, in the late afternoon or after a particularly long exercise, or maybe when you just intuitively feel that the audience is disengaging. And these are an integral part of a successful trainer's toolkit. And next, there's a set of closure exercises. It's really important to have a variety of ways to end a workshop so there is intellectual and emotional closure. And these are exercises for reviewing what is learned, appreciating the other people in the workshop, and committing to actions that people are going to take after the workshop. There's also a module on what we call student debriefing and unpacking. In the live training at the end of week one, I asked the students to return home and conduct a half-day workshop. And when they returned a few months later for the second week of the live training, many of them now had deeper questions about the content, the exercises, or some of the challenges they experienced when they were conducting their workshop. And this module includes some of the key questions the students asked, which I felt would be helpful to you as well. I've also included a module in this program on presentation skills. And this is a rare opportunity to watch me analyze myself as a speaker. I can tell you that's not always super fun. And I'm going to comment on a one-hour keynote that I delivered to a large network marketing audience. And what I call the director's cut includes my video comments on what I did well and where I also could have improved certain aspects of my keynote. And this training tool will help you also be a better presenter when integrating experiential exercises into a one-hour keynote. You know, I always recommend that you video your presentations whenever possible. It literally is the best way to review and improve. And every professional athletic team in the world does it. Professional speakers do it. Actors do it. I do it. And I want to encourage you to do it. Sometimes it's hard to watch, but it's the best way to get feedback on what you did well and what you didn't do. There are also several meditations included in this program. I use meditations in all my trainings and all my workshops. 
and I've included five meditations from the live training in this program. The four-part meditation, the disidentification process meditation, the tree of life meditation, the inner smile meditation, and the life purpose meditation. Now typically you would not need to have meditations on video, but I wanted you to see how I introduce and set up the meditations in the training room. There's an extensive introduction for each meditation that explains to the student the purpose of the meditation and what they should expect during the meditation. In addition to the meditation videos, I've also included a digital audio file of the same five meditations. And the audios don't include the setups and the introductions, so you can go directly to the meditation and also you'll have them available now so you can put them in your MP3 player or your computer, you can listen to them yourself or you can actually play them in your own seminars. You're also going to find scripts for these meditations as part of your program so that you can teach them to your groups. All you have to do is read the script. I've also included another five audio meditations. The manifestation meditation, the clarify your vision meditation, the creating your day meditation, the daily review meditation, and the blossoming of a rose meditation. Now you can use these meditations in your own life, as I said, as needed in your own workshops. Now this Train the Trainer program also includes an array of collateral materials. As I said earlier in the Getting Started video, there are really three different trainings going on here. Therefore, we've included the following. The first is a student workbook. And this workbook contains all the worksheets for all the exercises included in the program. The second is a facilitator's guide. And this contains all the directions for each exercise, the scripts for the guided meditations and the visualizations, and any supplies you'll need, as well as the images of the slides that we recommend you use in your presentation. You'll also find a half-day workshop participant handout. This is the very same one that I use in my half-day workshops. And you'll want to use this when viewing the half-day workshop model in the program. You're also going to find a workshop design manual. And this is a minute-by-minute -minute outline of how a particular workshop is designed. It will include where you start, what content is included, what ingredients, exercises, activities, and stories that you'll include to create a variety of different workshops. Another valuable component of this program is our training community. And now that you're a member of our training community, I'd like to encourage you to take advantage of the wealth of knowledge that's now going to be available to you in our network. And this is a place where you, your fellow students, graduates, alumni, and Canfield certified trainers can collaborate, share ideas, compare notes, and a whole lot more. And this community is only as active as you make it. So to get the most from this feature, complete your profile and participate in the forums. And you'll find one in each of the video modules for that specific topic and general forum for additional networking and collaboration. I also want you to know that we are here to support you. If you have a question about the material, a technical issue, if you want to give us some feedback or you have comments on the program, all you have to do is click the support tab in the community and there you'll find the help that you need, including email access to me and my team. Now that you have a better feel for the components that are included in this program, let's talk about how you put them all together. Typically, I have a specific structure to each day of my training that looks like this. First, as people are coming into the room and sitting down, we use a lot of music. You'll find a list of the songs and music that we use with uplifting and empowering lyrics in your manual. I use a short excerpt from the Superman movie to get people to sit down. I then show five to ten cartoons for humor and to energize the room and to establish that the workshop is going to be fun. Then I usually tell a story or two. It might be funny or it might be moving, but they help people become present in the moment. I remind everyone to turn off their cell phones. And the reason for this is if they go off, it disturbs people, especially if we're doing a closed eye process, a guided imagery exercise, or a meditation. Then I conduct a self-esteem check. On a scale of 1 to 10, what's your level of self-esteem? I do that with people's eyes closed. And this lets me know what I'm dealing with in the room. Are they feeling good that morning, or are they not? Helps me know what's happening. And then I'll often do a standing ovation, where I bring some up on stage and have them receive a standing ovation, sometimes a whole group of people. And that creates an affirming context in the room, a room of support and love and high energy. Then I usually do questions and answers. Is there anything that someone needs to share or ask about from the previous session? And the purpose is to clear up any incompletes from the prior day so that they feel complete. And I then usually do a meditation to get everyone centered or to impact a subconscious blueprint for the work we're 
doing that day. I often do the hug process to ground the energy from the meditation. Now think about this. We do visualization, that's the visual side. We're using music, we're speaking, that's auditory. And we use visualizations and uh, we use slides for the visual. And then kinesthetic is the touch part. So we're doing audio, visual, and kinesthetic, using all of the aspects of a human being and getting them right involved very quickly. Then I usually take sharing of anything that came up in the meditation with me or in a small group or just in pairs. And then we dig into the content and the exercises for the day. Here are a few other items to make note of as you progress through the program. Keep in mind that the live training consisted of three one-week trainings. As the weeks progress, the students learn more principles and more exercises for teaching these principles, and they evolved as coaches and trainers. And you're going to find the same thing happens to you as you go through this program. And as you review and practice more of the principles, you're going to learn how to work with them on a deeper level. It's like adding more and more floors to a building, more and more layers to your level of expertise. Now let me talk about breaking into groups for a minute. You're going to notice that a lot of the power of this program derives from people working in partnerships and in small group activities. And the amount of time it takes to break into groups will vary based on the size of the room and the size of the group. Obviously, for a larger group, it takes a little longer to break people into pairs or small groups. So rather than watch the classroom break into groups each time, we've edited this down. You're going to see a timer graphic on the screen that we use to indicate how long it took for people to move from the instructions into groups. And I'll give you the amount of time I suggest for each activity, which is the time it took to do these activities in live training. But you may need to adjust the actual amount of time in your training room based on the length of your trainings and the sophistication level of your group. Now about exercises. Throughout the video, we do a variety of exercises that run various lengths of time. Now, once again, we edited this footage down, and we're going to let you know how much time has elapsed, again, with a timer graphic on the screen. And the timer graphic tells you the length of the exercise in our live training. But again, you may need to adjust the time based on your specific situation. However, in general, these times are usually the right amount to get the best results. Let's talk about homework for a moment. In the live training, at the end of each day, I assigned homework that we reviewed the following day. You may notice me referring to this in the video from time to time. Now since this is a self-paced course that you're taking, you do not really have homework. But there are worksheets, instructions, and scripts to support the classroom footage in each of your modules. Humor. Humor is really important. I use a lot of cartoons first thing in the morning to show an audience that we're going to have fun, poke fun at the topics that we're going to cover today and just get ready for a great day. Now for copyright reasons, I can't show those cartoons that I use in the program, but if you choose to add cartoons to your presentations, just do some research online or ask a local cartoonist for a few that you can use, read the newspapers, you know, go to Google Images, etc. You'll find a lot of cartoons that you can use. It's really a great way to start the day and ease attention out of a room. So now let's recap about how to use this program. First, read the Success Principles book. I want to suggest as you go through the program, read the chapter in the book that's related to that principle. Second, go through the entire program as a student. Then you can come back and go through it as a leader once you know the content. Now, third, remember that the material is placed in a certain order for a good reason. This is the way I taught it in the live training over the year, and it's also a logical way to build upon what you learn. So I recommend you view and study the material in the same order that it's presented. And fourth, there are student forms, worksheets, handouts for each section. There's also facilitator workshops, forms and guides for each module. And these manuals have chapters that match the various sections of the videos. And you'll find that the manuals have a lot of details. So I recommend as you view the videos, you follow along in the manuals. And fifth, Start to design or refine your own workshops based on what you're learning in this program. Refer to the workshop designs to design your workshop according to your audience. And finally, practice, practice, practice. The material will become second nature as you master it in your own life and in the training room. So let me just end by saying I am really excited to have you join our Train the Trainer program. Remember now a couple of things. Go at your own pace, ask questions, and connect with other members around the world in the community. They're gonna be an amazing resource for you. 
and start living the principles that I'm teaching you. Because if you're not living them, the energy of that won't come through when you're trying to teach it. I promise you, this program will change your life and you will change many lives by teaching it to others out in the world. Okay, now let's get started.